welcome to the class myself ashwini lecturer in statistics and today's topic is about moving averages and in moving averages we have three types of moving averages that is three year five year and four year moving averages in three and five move three and five years moving average we call it as odd number moving average and four year moving average we call it as even number moving average let us solve the problems on these three topics calculate three year moving average for the data Sales they have given in thousands. Yes, this is the problem they have given that is here and the sales. Here the problem is about three yearly moving average. So first we have to find three year moving total. Three year moving total. To find this three year moving total, we should add three year 95, 96, 97. That is 86, 63, 45. 86 plus 63 plus 45 and next thing is next we should add with the 96 97 and 98 60 like this i will show this using the bracket see here first we should add first three one two three and next thing is next three that is two three four and next is three four five and four five six like that it will continue First it is 86, 63 and 45, next 63, 45, 43 and next 45, 43, 47, then 43, 57, 57, then 53, 57, 57, 98, 57, 98, 100, 98, 100, 120, 100, 120 and 150 and lastly we will add 2002, 3 and 4 that is 3 years its end and the value that we have added three years that should be right or we should write that number between this three years but that is 86 or 1995 96 97 these these are the three years first we have taken so in the middle year that is 96 uh, for that we should write the total of these three numbers and we will continue the same pattern for next three also that is 94 and next is 9497 that is first one will be blank 66 for 98 it is 146 99 318 and 2003 it is 370 and last one will be a blank one see here in three early moving totals three early moving total we will add three numbers first three and next three like that it will continue at last we will add last three numbers and the position of the number total should be between the uh, middle of the year so i have shown that using this arrow mark see here for 96 for 95, 96, 97, 96 is the middle year. So, I have written the value of the total year. Next column is 3 year moving average. 3 year moving average. Since we have 
added three numbers or three years or three years sales. So we should divide that by three. So the and the first year it will be a blank and last it will be a blank. It is average is 65, 54, 49, 53, 66, 85, 106 and 122. These are the three year moving average values and uh, we should draw the graph for this values that is first we will take x axis as year and y axis for sales and this sales in thousands even though we have a sales in thousand we will not convert the values or the sales to the thousand if we convert to sales if we convert the sales to 1000 also, the value will be the same, but we will get number of zeros. Three zeros will be added for each and every number. No need to take the scale or zeros or uh, uh, no need to convert this to thousands. As usual, whatever they have given the year and the sales directly we can plot. And this is y axis sales in uh, x axis year, it will start from 1995. 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 1, 2, 3 and the 4. And here the values, uh, sales, the least sale is about 43 and the highest sale is 40, sorry 150. So I will start from 0, 20 like that. This will be a 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120, 140 and 160. Now I am going to draw the graph or histogram for year and the sales whatever they have given. The given data we should plot first. So for 1995 it is 86, 96 it is 63. Approximately I am drawing using graph you should draw this. For 45, then it is 43, 57, 98, 100, 2000 it is 90, 57, sorry, 2000 again it is a 57. Next it is. 100, 120, 150. So for this we should draw these points using straight lines and this we call it as historygram. And next. The three year moving average what we have calculated that we call it as moving trend or a trend values. So I will uh, plot a graph for year versus three year moving average. Here in 1995 we don't have any values we should start from 96. For 96 it is 65 almost it will come here only closer to the first one. Next 54. Forty nine, fifty three, then it is sixty six for two thousand, it is sixty six, eighty five, one or six. 2002 it is 100 it is 106 like this and 122 122 so again I'll plot join these points using a dotted lines and this we call it as a trend line and the straight line we call it as historygram and dotted lines are trend line. 
in the examination they will not ask for the graph because if they ask for the graph it will be for 10 marks so no need to uh, plot the graph next problem next is we have to find five year five yearly moving average for the data following data since they are asking for 5 years so we should uh, add 5 years or 5 values so first is 5 year moving total 5 year moving total so we should add first 5 numbers that is 10 15 18 21 25 first 5 and next 5 and again next 5 next 5 and last 5 1 2 3 4 5 so that you are the middle in the between the 5 years from 2002 to 2004 the middle will be 2002 so the numbers you are whatever you have added 5 years that should be comes for 2002 so first 2 years will be blank and similarly last 2 years will be blank so moving totals are like this 89 109 127 149 and 178 since we have added 5 years so we should divide this by 5 that is 5 year moving average or we can call it as trend line trends also trend line also it is 17.8 21.8 25.4 and last two will be blank in exam they will ask only five years or four years and the moving totals or a moving total uh, for five marks they will ask that uh, moving total carries two marks moving average carries two marks and another one mark is for your conclusion the conclusion will be like this here see the trend line trend values it is increasing year by year it is increasing 17.8 21.8 so it is increasing so we have to write the given data shows upward trend the given data shows upward trend since in the trend or average column we are high, the values are increasing so our conclusion is it showing upward trend it showing an upward trend and next one we have to compute or calculate four year moving average four year moving average we have to calculate four year moving average four year moving average or a trend line so
so we should first we should add four year four years total that is four yearly or year moving total and the values whatever you added you should write between 2001 and 2 here you should you should write the total similarly for 2001 2 3 4 between this we have to write so you should add four numbers that is 75 60 55 and 70 first four from second it is four again from third it is four fourth it is four fifth it is four from sixth it is four from seventh it is four one two three four at last you should add by four numbers and uh, it is 250 this will be blank 240 again 250 265 280 300 300 again it will be a blank one after this after this we will not divide this by 4 again we will add another 2 that is 2 item moving totals 2 items moving total whereas in odd number moving average we just divide we will add 4 years and we will divide that by the numbers if we add 3 numbers we will divide it by 3 if we add 5 years we will divide it by 5 but in the even number or a 4 year moving average first we will add 4 years or a 4 values then again we are adding two values like this so this total is like this 490 again 490 515 545 580 600 it will be a blank now we will find the trend values and this is also in thousands see to find the trend values now first we added four years again we added by two two years so the total this two item moving total should be the values of this column should be divided by 8 that is 4 to the 8 it should be divided by 8 not by 4 so that we will get the trend values See, see the trend values it is 61 61 20 64 68 72 75 again it is showing a upward trend so our conclusion is given data is showing conclusion it showing an upward trend once again, I will repeat this 4 year moving average. First, we should add 4 years for 4 numbers. Then again, we should add 2 years that is 2 numbers from the third column. And the last trend values. To find the trend values, the 4th column should be, the 4th column value should be divided by 8. That is, it should be 4 to the 8. In examination, if you will not write the position properly, you will not get the marks. For conclusion also it will carry marks and position also will carry marks. And in final examination you will ask 5 years or 4 years for 5 marks and conclusion part will always carry 1 marks. In 5 year moving average we will just add 5 years and we will divide this by 5 years so that we will get the trend line or a trend values. But whereas in 4 years we should first you should add by 5 4 values or a 4 years sales then you should add 2 years then it should be divided by 8 and that 8 is 4 to the 8 not 4 plus 2 is 8 it is 4 to the 8 thank you